The keys I'm using are in the bottom right corner of the viewport. For the wavy lines of the sand, at a wave texture, I connect it to the base color of the principled shader. Using Node Wrangler, use Ctrl plus T to add a mapping node and texture coordinate node. Change the texture coordinate node from generated to object. This allows you to use the material across multiple objects more easily. To decrease the number of rings from the wave texture, lower the scale option. To make the rings of the wave texture not so uniform, change the distortion option and the detail option. Select these three nodes and use Ctrl J to group them. renaming them to base. To give the sand some height differentiation, add a color ramp and a bump map. Change the white color stop to a dark gray. Disconnect the wave texture from the principal shader and connect it to the color ramp. Connect the color ramp to the bump node and the bump node to the normal of the principal shader. You can now change the colors of the color stops and the strength of the bump node to get your desired effect. Select these two nodes and use Ctrl J to group them, renaming them to height. To give the sand some color, add a noise texture and connect the mapping node to the noise texture. Connect the noise texture to the base color and make any changes as desired to the noise texture. Add a color ramp between the noise texture and the principal shader. This will be used to give the material color. Change the scale and detail of the noise texture as desired. Change the color stops to sandy colors and add more color stops as desired. I'm changing the white color stop to hex code FBD474. The black color stop 925347. I add a color stop to place 0 0.3. With the hex code A7835D, and I add a fourth color stop to the 0 0.6 position with the hex code of BB9D56. Also, change the roughness to 1 to reduce the shininess. Select these two nodes and use Ctrl J to group them, renaming them to color. 